So we're going to look at the idea of the translation on the t-axis or time axis. And basically when we s say that, we're going to have to define a function called a unit step function or heaviside function. And just think of this function as an on-off function where it's off for a certain amount of time a and then turns on after time a. Mathematically, this is described as u t minus a, where the u stands for this unit step function, where it's off or zero from zero less than or equal to t and t less than a. So it's off for this amount of time. And then it turns on where it's equal to one, f where t is greater than or equal to a, as shown here. So it's off for a certain amount of time of a units and then turns on after it hits that time a. So let's apply this to an example and illustrate it with y is given as a ramp function is equal to t. So if t is equal to 3, y is equal to 3 and this has a slope of 1. Now let's define another function called z of t where t is multiplied by the step function that is delayed by 3 time units. When we do that, it means that the ramp function is off for three seconds or three time units and then turns on as a ramp after time t equal three. So in this case, since this is a ramp with a slope of one at t equal four, which is greater than three, then z of t is equal to four. So that's how you apply the step function with this simple ramp example. We're gonna take a look at the unit step function and see how it can be used to write piecewise defined functions in compact form. So let's say we have a function here defined as follows where it's equal to 2 minus 3 times u to the t minus 2 plus u t minus 3. We'll draw these functions individually and then we'll add them up to form f of t. So here for our first function 2 is just simply a constant with a weight of 2 or height of 2 and this is drawn as shown. So basically it's it's not delayed, starts at 0 and then we have a value of 2 from then on. Here we have minus 3 with a delay of 2 so this function is off for 2 time clicks and then it has a value of minus 3 so I'll draw it as shown right here. So this is minus 3. And then we have a step function with a height of 1 and it's delayed by 3. So we have this function with a height of 1. So these are our three functions as, as I shown up and now we're gonna add them to form our final function f of t. So here, 2, it will be 2 for 2 time units. So 2 time units here and 3 time units here. And then you have 2 minus 3. Let me clear this up. At 2, so that would be just simply minus 1 and it's going to stay minus 1 until we hit this function with a height of 1 and a delay of 3. So this one starts at 2 and then we're going to stop here at 3. This is minus 1 and so it's going to be 0 after 3. So this is our function. It has a height of 2 until we reach 2 time units and then it's going to have negative 1 here until 3 and then it becomes 0. So that's how you use the step function to draw piecewise defined functions.